Today, I'm going to be sharing with you three secrets that I have discovered myself after starting asking myself the question, how can I win more often? And I started my journey at 48%. 10 years later, we have 70. And even if an ordinary guy like me can increase his win rate by 21% in average, you can do it 100%. Tip number one, occupy important positions, win flanks, or open flanks for your team. In this round, I'm playing in the platoon, but it is just to demonstrate the importance of playing aggressive. And if you pay attention on the minimap, my platoon is going crazy. And this object to 60 is going to be a huge problem. So regardless of anything, I have to kill him fast. And if I can get around the corner, I will be able to shoot him safely without exposing myself to Object to 60s teammates, 279 and IS7. 1 minute 30 seconds into the game and probably about 30 seconds of active engagement and enemies already losing about 3000 HP. And for them to be able to recover from this point is almost impossible. So what we did in this scenario with friends of mine is we occupied a very important position. We didn't let them play full down and be in comfortable positions for themselves and we open up the flank two minutes into the game 6000 advantage i also love to bring my tank destroyers in the front line and what i'm achieving is providing my team with extra assistance being there for team with extra unit with Aww. hp to share i'm impacting That's on the battlefield in a way you can't even imagine by playing aggressive, one interesting thing is happening. I am fighting enemies and they have no chance of peeking against my teammates. So my team is that is sitting behind is practically doing nothing. And once they get bored, they start to push, they start to get closer. And we overwhelm enemies and we just uh, keep rolling enemy team. Of course. Playing aggressive is not always working out and I'm going to show you later in the video how I deal with the frustration of dying early or making stupid plays and how those plays actually make me better. I think I discovered a formula that is working for me very well and not only I get better if you every playing. round I play, especially every round I lose, but my satisfaction from just playing the game is getting higher and higher. Seven thousand? Wait, what? 10k combined in four minutes. Let me show you one more example with the Forge B. How I am playing aggressive. I am helping my team to secure important position on the top of the Malin of Cahill and right after I see that my team has the windmill, there is no point for me to be there because uh, if enemy is playing mm. against me, they're going to be playing cooldown. Okay, I'm going there already. So I decided to drop down and well, brand new i7. Completely for free, no way. Hi. Five HP, no. <laughs> oh yes, I love this tank with a pleasure. This time I'm playing with the German STRV for the first time, and have a look how I'm thinking. Mm. <laughs> how fast my tank is? Can I get the hill? Another thing that you will see me doing often is that asking team for help. It might not work every time, but it's worth the effort anyway. Quick hill gaming. I, I got it, guys. Everything is under control. It's not going to be 30 seconds game, I promise you. Sparta! <laughs> block, 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 block. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now what, bro? Sparta! Dead! What did you say? Oh, front line is horrible, bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. This is the reason you're watching me, okay? 
And in order to be able to perform such plays successfully, you have to learn how to read enemy setup. But sadly, in this round, I really couldn't because we've got a donation. Bro, can you give us 10 push-ups before match starts? I did it! It was 10! It was 10, bro! I did it! I did it! And because I couldn't pay attention to where my team is going, because I just did push-ups, I pushed on the hill by myself and ended up being against two enemies just by myself. Guys, 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 guys. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Minus. Minus two. <laughs> This was very reckless move, but it worked. And my really next game, I get careless and I paid for this. Listen carefully what I'm saying at the beginning of the round. They have they have platoon of projectors. This might be a very fast game for us guys. So let me explain how I'm spending my time before the game starts and reading and analyzing both of the setups. So I know that I want to be playing for the hill, but I want to make sure that my chances of getting there is high. So I'm first counting fast tanks that can possibly go and take it. In our team, we have Cobra and Yudas in the platoon and uh, they aren't very fast. So it left us with myself, Lorraine, Ebear and Ilse, four tanks. Now let's count enemy team. Kunze, Borat, double Progetto and plus two Molai tanks. So the odds of winning is not very high. That's why I always pay attention to where my team is going, even if we have better lineup for a certain position. But I just get carried away after the previous push. It's only two of us coming. I knew exactly what is going to happen. I knew that. I knew that way before it started. And it was only two of us coming. So I should have sold my teammate. I didn't want to sell him. I should have sold him. What I would do differently is stay at the corner and do damage at the tanks going on the top of the hill and then play accordingly. But mistake was made. And remember what I was saying about the formula that I discovered? It is right here. I made a mistake, I knew I was wrong, and I'm always trying to find solution. How I would play it differently now that I know the outcome. And so let's ha fast forward a little bit to play the next round on this map in exactly the same scenario. How do we play this map, guys? Going middle is flip of a coin, I hate that. Do I go towards the middle to do damage at the cross? Take the center now. I'm not going to. I mean, we have three very fast mediums. Wait, CS is, wants to go there, okay. TVP is not coming, so it's going to be three of us, and it can be five of them. I'm pushing out, guys. I'm pushing out. This boy doesn't have a repair crew skill. I should have a reload, right? Just 
He's gonna be reloading. He's gonna be reloading. Keep holding, bro. I just, I just needed to secure the kill, guys. Would you be eager to push me, my friend? Thank you. Great round! If I were to go on the hill, I think the game would be completely different. And we've come to the secret number two. You, whenever you make a mistake, you try to think how would you play differently because now you know the outcome and if you come up with the idea after every loss after every mistake essentially you will have a library of ideas let me show you another example Bro. lucky man so lucky and now the most important part of all i'm coming up with the idea and in the next round we're gonna use it okay for the future guys i don't pick at the corner here if there is tank in front i pick at this building that's it that's the formula of success and now let's see how it works Okay, remember what I said in the previous round? We need to be picking at that building. This is how I get better at World of Tanks, guys. We learn every round. Every round we play makes us a better player. That's how you get better, guys. Oh, that's a lot of tanks here, by the way. Okay, I get spotted even before I fire. But now with this tree... 118 meters It's a little sketchy I shouldn't be spotted now I did get spotted Okay I said we have to be picking here There is a reason for that We played two identical rounds. The first one was really bad. 
but we learned from our mistake and we managed to get better in the second one and uh, throughout the game after doing some shooting and uh, some spotting we end up with uh, around uh, 8000 uh, combined damage and all of it just because of the mindset because of the habit of constantly trying to think what would you do differently shall we see another example we playing Kapazander again and uh, after some shooting on the middle I realized that there is no one on the opposite side while we have almost an entire team here. I went to proxy spot enemies and there is no one and at this moment BZ58 is proxy spot defender. Realizing how many of my teammates around I have an idea. We can push the defender because at this point of time he's alone and so I'm going for it right like uh, my team is around, they see that I'm coming and they want to help me, right? And so, yeah, I thought it is going to be a good idea. But we spotted a few tanks, but I'm like, nah, we have the VK pushing, it's going to be all right. And so I'm going to commit and uh, that's where T43 got spotted. Tank sitting almost at the enemy base. And uh, while shooting at Defender, I'm going to be taking lots and lots of damage from that T43. And so eventually I'm going to be killed. And what I learned in this scenario is that if I want to push, I have to push into the city and I have to make sure that any, uh, my, my teammates are committing. So that's what we're going to do in the next round. This is the big point here. We could break through that. What's his HP? Uh, crazy tactic guys This is weak point right there Crazy tactic and then I can farm mouse bro. I Think it's crazy tactic guys It is important to mention that I was marking Kapazander and I was at 92% of mark of excellence, but I was so sure in my ideas that I went for it anyway Crazy tactic. Almost 8k combine it. Do you remember me dying in that position? Because of the T43 sitting on the base. Do you remember that? But I learned something. And I did it again. And it worked wonderfully. Tip number 3 to win more games in World of Tanks is to compare setups enemy tanks to your tanks and understand which team is stronger i would recommend you to watch the next game and try to find those tips that i just shared with you within my gameplay and you see how easy it is to have good games in world of tanks all right we have way more mediums
We are in huge disadvantage, our heavies are dying. And there is no way to stop that. But on this map, if you have control over this, you are set. Okay, all of their light tanks is dead. We have a chance of winning. Did we upload the mod? Yes. Lurking since 2019. <laughs> I see, I see. They're getting, getting a little bit cocky, guys. That 279 made the biggest mistake in his life. I mean, even 100. That bad shot. I don't, I don't want... I'm, I'm gonna hold my fire. Nice. You see? Just by looking at the setup, we, they had IMX 279 Kranwagen. We can't possibly win heavy side when to our disposal we have tanks like even 100 type 5 T57 heavy. So I recommended my team that we go and win K0. I asked them not to snipe from behind and actually come. Come, I mean like get closer, okay? Got, like I don't know. I don't I don't know why do I have to say it, but with this with these chatters like you guys crazy, okay? But I said come like like you, you know, you you know what I mean, right? And uh, after securing that, they can't cap. It is impossible, almost impossible for them to win, so. Yeah, you see, you see, that's, that's what I meant, guys. That's, that's exactly what I meant. So, yeah, and now... We have two light things, they have zero light things. It's easier to win. So if you guys would like to get better at the game, uh, you can... Uh, you can uh, get the coaching from me about how to read setup. Only 99.99. And you're gonna be as good as me, guys. And to summarize what we just learned, I have a good friend of mine that looks exactly just me and he has perfect speech for such scenario. I'm always the last one alive, top damage, still loses. Just do better. Okay, you, you, you piss me off! Oh my god! You legitimately piss me off! D d guys, d you, you know these babies? Oh my god! Like, I'm playing in divorce team. I'm playing with the uh, childrens that that is uh, getting the credit cards of the parents. Oh my god, this! Oh my god, that! I can't win. Just win! Just grab your balls like this, squish them hard, and win! Stop crying like a baby! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm talking to the, the most childish guy ever! Stop complaining! Holy shit, I'm losing my mind! So, you have learned three tips on how to win more often and those tips helped me get 20% additional win rate. 
And you're probably asking yourself, how do I not forget those? How do I make tips my own habits? I would recommend you to watch my first video, two hour gameplay, where I'm focusing exclusively on winning as many games as possible. And I'm pretty sure you will be able to see those three tips and a few more. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.